As Britain prepares for an uncertain and complex future, the Type 32 frigate stands as a symbol of forward thinking and strategic adaptation. It embodies the lessons of modern conflict and the opportunities offered by new technology. In an era of rapidly evolving naval warfare, the world's oceans are no longer defined solely by firepower. They are shaped by technology, adaptability, and the ability to respond to unpredictable threats. As global competition intensifies and maritime security becomes more complex, the United Kingdom is taking a decisive step toward the future. At the heart of this transformation lies a new warship concept, the Type 32 frigate. This vessel is more than just another addition to the Royal Navy. It represents a strategic shift in how Britain plans to protect its interests at sea, support allies, and maintain its position as a leading maritime power in the 21st century. The Type 32 is envisioned as a next-generation escort and mission support frigate, complementing Britain's existing Type 26 and Type 31 warships. While the Type 26 focuses on anti-submarine warfare and the Type 31 emphasizes affordability and general-purpose missions, the Type 32 aims to push innovation forward. Its core mission is expected to center on autonomous systems, force protection, and maritime security operations. Rather than relying solely on traditional crewed platforms, the Type 32 will act as a mothership for unmanned surface, subsurface, and aerial vehicles. This makes it especially relevant for future conflicts where speed, data, and adaptability matter as much as firepower. For decades, naval dominance was measured by the size of fleets and the power of their weapons. Today, that equation has changed. Modern threats include autonomous drones, cyber warfare, stealth submarines, and long-range precision missiles. Conflicts can unfold below the surface, in space, or in the digital realm, often simultaneously. The Royal Navy recognizes that future warships must be flexible, networked, and technologically advanced. They must operate not only as individual combat vessels but as part of an integrated system of ships, aircraft, satellites, and unmanned platforms. One of the most distinctive features of the Type 32 frigate is its expected focus on unmanned and autonomous technology. The ship is being designed from the ground up to deploy, recover, and control drones operating above and below the water. These unmanned systems can perform a wide range of tasks, detecting and tracking submarines, conducting surveillance and reconnaissance, clearing mines from contested waters, extending the ship's sensor range far beyond the horizon. By using autonomous platforms, the Royal Navy can reduce risk to personnel while increasing operational reach and persistence. In future naval warfare, the ship that sees first and shares that information fastest often wins. The Type 32 is built to do exactly that. Another key concept behind the Type 32 is modularity. Unlike older warships that required major refits to change roles, the Type 32 is expected to feature mission bays and reconfigurable spaces. This means the ship can be adapted for different tasks depending on operational needs. One deployment might focus on anti-submarine operations, while another could prioritize humanitarian assistance, counterpiracy, or maritime security patrols. This flexibility allows the Royal Navy to respond quickly to global crises without needing entirely new ship designs for each mission. The Type 32 frigate is expected to play a critical role in carrier strike group protection, particularly against emerging threats such as drone swarms and underwater systems. By integrating advanced sensors and autonomous defenses, the Type 32 can help shield high-value assets from both conventional and unconventional attacks. Britain's aircraft carriers, HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince of Wales, are central to the country's defense strategy. However, carriers are only as effective as the ships protecting them. This layered defense approach ensures that Britain's carriers remain credible and survivable in contested environments. Beyond its military role, the Type 32 program is also significant for the UK's defense industry. The project is expected to support shipbuilding, engineering, and high-tech jobs across the country. By emphasizing digital design, open systems architecture and cutting-edge technology, the Type 32 could become a platform for continuous innovation. This not only strengthens national security but also enhances Britain's ability to export naval technology and collaborate with allies.
When viewed as part of the Royal Navy's broader transformation, the Type 32 frigate represents a bridge between today's fleet and tomorrow's maritime force. It reflects a shift away from rigid, single-purpose platforms toward smart, connected, and adaptable warships. It also highlights the growing importance of information dominance, autonomy, and rapid decision-making at sea. As Britain prepares for an uncertain and complex future, the Type 32 frigate stands as a symbol of forward thinking and strategic adaptation. It embodies the lessons of modern conflict and the opportunities offered by new technology. The idea of the Type 32 frigate was first publicly introduced in 2020, with the concept gaining further definition in 2021 as part of broader discussions on the future shape of the Royal Navy. The concept phase formally began in 2022, with Type 32 envisaged as a flexible, export-friendly platform, potentially focused on autonomous systems, presence missions and partner Navy cooperation. While much about the Type 32 remains to be finalized, its direction is clear. The Royal Navy is investing in flexibility, innovation, and resilience, qualities that will define successful navies in the decades to come. Is UK's first Type 32 coming soon? The mystery around the project grows. In a recent written parliamentary answer, the UK Ministry of Defence declined to provide any timeline for when the first Type 32 frigate might be commissioned, underlining that the programme remains firmly in the concept phase. For a warship class first announced several years ago as part of the Navy's future force structure, the absence of concrete milestones grows concern. The issue was raised directly in Parliament, with MPs asking when the first Type 32 frigate is expected to enter service. Is UK's first Type 32 coming soon?